But we went over in the camper van <laughs> to that match. Oh my God, if it could, and could go wrong, was, we were three weeks stuck in France. We had to get home. <laughs> I swear to God. We, the clutch board down coming off the ferry. We, they had to drag us off the ferry with a tractor. <laughs> and we drove up the road. <laughs> and we eventually broke down. And there was five of us in the back. <laughs> and we got dragged to a place called Chateauneuf de Bray. I remember the town. It's like a crossroads, like the horse and jockey in, outside Turles. <laughs> and. <laughs> Oh, it was desperate. The first, we, we were all excited we landed in France. So, oh, we get, get a car, rent a car tomorrow. There's a garage there. They brought us to the garage. And um, so, uh, so yeah, so we we set up drinking. <laughs> it was only ourselves in the camp like and b uh, And in the morning, we were having breakfast. The locals were coming in looking at how much we drank. <laughs> we were wondering what they're doing. All the bottles were stacked. In front of the chair, and they were impressed. At the... <laughs> so we went over to the garage then to get... Get a get, your man couldn't take the he couldn't. I wanted we had to get a rented car that morning, and and uh, I went down to, to just we were leaving. The, the lady, I could, probably they won't know who I was, <laughs> she was kind of hairy in the face. <laughs> and the boys were going, Mind yourself, she was driving me down to Rouen to get the rented car. Mind yourself, uh, there was uh, Mrs. Gillette, <laughs> they were all this slagging. So I got down to Rouen, they smelt the drink off it, they wouldn't give me the rented car. <laughs> And then Mrs. Gillette broke into perfect English. <laughs> so she she understood everything the lads were saying. And she wasn't very happy. <laughs> so, so she was the wife of you know, the elf that had the car. So I got the car anyway. And then there was no sat nav in those. So I, I was trying to keep up with her. She was driving like a lunatic. I had no idea where I was going. So I kept up with her no way. And then I tried to overtake her at the end. <laughs> so I could get to the lads and say, shut up with the Mrs. Gillette stuff. <laughs> so... So your, man, your man's garage said, I can't take the, the, the campers too high into my garage, but I've arranged to go to another garage. No problem. So we took off for the match, and it's like a three-hour drive, white-knuckle job up to Lille. Just as about a half an hour coming into Lille, one of the lads pulled the keys of the camper van out of his pocket. So the van wasn't going anywhere. We booked <laughs> in for two days into the... So we booked in the two days, went to the match, had the crack, and it was, it was mental. Um... It was one of like it's a Lille is a soccer town. It's not a rugby town at all. So they ran out of drink the first night there. All oh, right, they had no idea. They had no idea what was coming at all. And then the cops were like, so we were we were in the hotel, and they were saying you should have been here last night. Last night, just a couple of the lads missing. You know the Paddy's missing. Riot cops came in, beat them, dragged them out the door <laughs> into the paddy wagon, and got. And as they were telling us the story, all these paddy wagons pulled up outside. <laughs> You know, lads were lively and boisterous, but they were all worried about the soccer hooligans. Yeah. Right. You know, they were, they were completely different. So we legged, we had to drag one lad into the lift and up to bed, <laughs> put a stop to the night. Uh, but it was great, great trip. We got to go, got back to the garage. Then the car went to the camp. So we'd go off down to Rouen and went on a bit of a tour. Turned out the clutch was gone. Of course, your man gets into the camper van. It's a Mercedes camper van. <laughs> <laughs> he lived, and the mechanic is talking a little broken kind of English. And then he opens the engine bay and then he goes, Oh my God, this century litre. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a Mercedes engine at all. And of course, in France, like, you know, you're, you're at nothing with a Japanese car, like, you know, we wait for parts. So they ordered the parts in from England. Right. <laughs> and the ferries were only running, like, it was off, it's getting a holiday time. So there was only two ferries a week or something. So by the time the park came in, got fixed. Then we came back, picked up the van. We had to wait another few days to get out. It was three weeks in total. <laughs> by the time we got home, <laughs> it was an incredible trip. Yeah. No one crazy. would believe that you hadn't planned the three weeks. It was no, like, oh, honestly, no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, my credit card melted. I can tell you. <laughs> no, we ran out of money. I was the only one with a credit card. At least that's what the lads told me. 